Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm going to go over some things I saw in the Scrambler and take the opportunity to do some coaching here. So first off, we have me reloading here, right? So what I'm trying to do here is the magazine didn't drop free, right? Ideally, you want to let the mag go while it's horizontal to the deck. The magazine is always going to fall out easier. So I probably pressed the button here, or it was pressed up against the barrel and didn't drop free. So what I did here is I let the mag stay in. I went ahead and grabbed my other magazine and then with my hand I stripped out the old mag and put the other one in, right? If you've got the stuck magazine, just leave it in there. Strip it. After you have your fresh mag, it's just less movement overall. Kind of recover in there. Pretty good, right? Uh, this is just uh, an equipment loss issue, right? Always check the tension on the straps of your equipment. You'll find out through things like this where your stuff will pop out. So this is te checking tension, checking straps, uh, flaps, things like that. Uh, let's reload here. So, you know, one thing you'll do as you shoot more is you'll get used to the bolt lock. Uh, the feeling of the bolt lock versus a, like a malfunction. You go for the reload here. It's kind of hard to see. You go for the mag. Now I noticed that you're pointing down, you're focused down, you're looking down at the gun. You've lost all awareness of the target. And that's why I teach to tuck the stock in the buffer tube here, have the gun up, pointed up, and then the mag well will be here in your line of sight that you can see without really taking your eyes off the target. So you load the magazine and then you slap the bottom of it. Right, it's kind of a waste. These normally will seat really easily. So push the mag in and pull it. Don't worry about slapping it and then getting used to having that thumb come up the side of the rifle, let the, let the bolt go home. This is a component that you forgot, right? So you're looking at it like, why, didn't, why isn't it ready? Or, you know, you're missing something. Push, pull. This kind of position is where you want to shoot behind cover. If you're on the open here, you want to keep moving, uh, even if you're slow, still move. All right, here. All right, so you've got like this reminds me of like the old like Captain Hook resting the, the pistol on the uh, on the forearm thing for this for intensity. I like it. So what you can easily do here is take this hand, right, palm faces away from you. Take your first finger and your thumb, wrap it around, wrap it around the, the forehand, and then the rest of your fingers can grab the barrel. Uh, if you had a barrier right here, your hands would be pressed against it, wrapping around it, and then your pointer finger and thumb are C-clamping around the forehand, so give you a lot more control. You'll watch the gun just bounce quite a bit more control of this. Now in this case what we can do is your palm can stay flat like this but that C clamp is going to keep it connected to your hand drive the mag well and mag into the barrel to get more uh, more purchase and more leverage. Alright here I don't know what the hell I was doing. Again the mag gets stuck again so I think I I don't know. I, I, I guess it's just it's not. It's just at enough angle to not move, or it's hitting the barrel when I press the button. I'm not sure. Either way, the mistake here for me is again. Now I've got. I'm holding the gun up. It's a light gun. And this is something I'm doing behind cover. I would not reload like this on the move. And so uh, get the magazine in. Right. I'm trying to keep the mag well up in my face, almost like how I would reload a pistol. Point the mag well towards the source of feed versus keeping it straight to my block, which is what I recommend you would do if you're on the move. But I go here and it's like I move the gun down and I miss the paddle. I miss the paddle completely. I'm like an inch high. I don't know why. I just misestimated, but I guess kind of recovered there. But still, the faster way is always that paddle. Alright, so Jason here, 
you're kind of like the mag stuck with you um, and you're kind of like shaking the mag while you're going so there's a delay where you're kind of like doing both you're not really grabbing the mag you're kind of lingering and you're bobbling right just let the mag sit there grab the other mag pull it out and then you can then you can pull it out like you did so the time spent wobbling the gun is also keeping your other hand from doing what it needs to do. Now, if you're wobbling at the same time and your left hand was inter uninterrupted, it would be different, but it kind of distracts you, so you kind of pause there. So just let the mag be, go for the new mag, strip the other one, and reload. All right, so I don't know what you got going on here, uh, if you were keeping anything in here, but this is kind of unsecured. If you don't want to keep anything in here, just take this off, because it's just wasting uh, space, and it's going to be running your back. You have to sit down somewhere. Here, same thing. Everything's loosey goosey. Check the tension on your straps. Right? There's a lot. See how everything's flopping there? Like it should be tied to the body. So check the tension on your belt. Check the tension of the mounting of those pouches to your belt. And then check the individual tension. Bye bye. Free mag. Alright, so this is one uh, where it's just, you know, you haven't. You haven't done this enough, right? And so you're kind of just, you're just kind of doing what you think you need to do. And when you don't know how to do something, your brain just best guesses and tries to work through the problem. So kudos on, on working through it, but let's talk about what you did here. All right, you get the, the bolt lock back. Also, one thing I want to notice is you get your magnifier on the whole time. That magnifier really is ideal for, uh, you know, beyond you know, 200 yards. Here you, sh you shouldn't need it. I mean, 100 yards maybe, but really here it's gonna it's gonna stifle you. Uh, it's gonna slow you down. So just keep your left hand on the forend. Use your first finger there. Release the mag. It's gonna fall free because it's horizontal to the deck. Right. So your kind of hand is like kind of redundant. There, your hand could already be going for the extra, the magazine while it's falling away. Alright, so this is just a practice thing. Again, this is a dry fire uh, fix here. You can do this with empty mags. It, it will let the bolt go home on empty mags. So you grab the mag, no problem there. Gun's kind of in a good position. I would again, here I would tuck the stock in the buffer tube, rotate the gun so that way the optics are facing 3 o'clock, the mag will facing nine o'clock right roll the gun over and so we go here get the mag in not too not too bad it's push pull right there's no need to slap or anything else push pull and I think here is where you get confused you might go press the thing I think you I don't know what you press there so then you try to slap it never do that slapping shit on the side of the rifle it's really easy to hit the, the the hollow concave part of your hand and totally missed the, the the paddle. So you end up kind of just slapping the side of the gun. What you end up doing is you're like you're slapping and then you're like, oh do I need a rack? Right? You don't need to do this. The bolt's already back, right? Hit the paddle. Uh, you pull you pull the latch back, but you don't actually pull it back far enough to get the bolt to go. And so it kind of hangs up. So here I would say what you want to do is rack it again. All right, here, so you're kind of like, I don't know what to do here. Your middle finger is really close to the trigger here. It's kind of concerning. Uh, don't break that grip, right? Um, here, what I would have done is I see there's nothing in the chamber. It's not double feeding. Just get back on this. Pull it back all the way back until it stops. And then just let it go, right? Don't try to let it ride forward at all. That would have fixed this because the bullet is not on the bolt face and it's not grabbed by the extractor. And so this would just pull back and kind of reset the loading process. They'll chamber that round. Sometimes you'll see that happen on like a dry or dirty chamber. Like it's like this, just pull it back and let it go, go home. All right, so because it's not really super dirty or whatever. I think you try to press the mag. 
And when it's stuck like this, you're going to have to rip the mag out, right? So you go to tap. That has enough force to kick it back in the battery. So that worked in itself. Again, uh, I would I would err on the shot, side of caution and run the charging handle again. If that doesn't work, strip the mag, lock it back, let the bolt go home, and then reload it. That's the rib drill. I'll go over that in the next part of the video. You can keep it up from your shoulder. You can kick it over. You can guys do that. It's fast because the mag well is right here in my vision. Right? I can put it in. I can run the bolt. Right? Whatever. And I can go back to shooting. However, hold it like this and then run. Run it for a Right? You're not going to be able to control this rifle. Now, we want to do reactive loading on the to prevent this from hanging up, I mean, sometimes it does, be prepared to snatch it out, is if the gun is level, so get a level on target, right, while it's level, drop the magazine, it should all fall free, right, any mm -hmm. problems, nope, alright, good, now, let it fall free while it's horizontal, if you start letting it free while you're angling like this, that's when it starts hanging up, alright, so let it fall free, what you want to do is hold the gun, Rotate the gun so it's flat to the target, and you'll find that your sling might be too tight or whatever, right? And what I'm doing here is I'm tucking as deep as I can, and the gun is flat, horizontal to the deck. The magwell is straight to the left to my 9 o'clock, and then the barrel is on my side. So if you have a longer barrel, you're going to have to can it forward a little bit, right? So make sure it's flat, 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 rotate it all the way up. See how the stock is out here? If I had you run like that, this would be bouncing. Tuck it in with your elbow. Put the mag in yet. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're pinning, pinning the grip to our, our rib as much as possible. Have it flat as much as possible. Right, so get to this position. So from top to bottom, eye line with the barrel in line. The mag well straight to 9 o'clock and then pinning it as much as possible. Because if I had you run like this, this would be a lot more stable. Mag well, hold on, don't worry about it. The mag well straight pointing to Jason. Point that mag well to Jason. There you go. Now, what this allows, right, is for you to put the mag in and come out very easily. So once you push, pull, keep the barrel up in the eye line. So go ahead and load a mag, push, pull. Don't get ahead of me now. All right, so push pull while it's horizontal. Your thumb can come up here, let it go. Right? Now, what do we do from here? This is, this is where you can apply the high port, the whole, can you see the high port shit? Because this is what this turns into, right? It rotates, get your grip again. It rotates horizontal, 90 degrees upright, right? And then here, you want the barrel, push the barrel out towards the target and back into your shoulder. And it should be in your eye line, right? Dropping the mag, pulling it in, holding it horizontally, loading the mag, releasing the thing, whether the bolt's there or not, doesn't matter. Rotating it back over, pushing out, and pulling in. When you pull in, it should be uh, where the red dot's right in front of your eye. So the idea of this is to be able to do this on the move, and then having the gun prepared to punch back out, right? All right, cool. All right, might have not uh, loaded the mag, right? It didn't see, whatever it did is, it didn't chamber around, right? So, click. Right, what do I do with the click? Tap, right. Mop the mat. Nope. No. Tap, oh, you're doing the tap right thing. Okay. Rack. I go for a click. Ain't nothing. What I want to do here is drop the mag. Now, what I do is this is my only mag. I want to retain it, so I can drop the mag. I put my knee on it. That way, I contain it. What I do want to do is lock this back. Right here is where I want a finger bang, or shit will fall out. Generally speaking, right. Now, the important part is let the bolt go home. Why? Because when I it, it's going to give a chance to extract anything that's in the chamber, because I'm not going to do chamber, chamber checks or any of that stuff. So now I go back to my reload. Tap. 
rack. So, again, the mechanics is unload the gun, let the bolt go home, reload it. Simple as that. Click, half rack bang, mush, rip drill. Rip the mag out, let the bolt go home, reload it. So, uh, that stuff you have to work on in your own time. Mm. It's best to remember that here in the moment. 